where's the former governor and where's the money? Those are questions asked in Richmond Federal Bankruptcy Court. The only problem? The former governor, Doug Wilder, and his attorney were no-shows. Andy Fox was in court, and it's a story you'll see only on 10. Andy? Stephanie and Tom, they didn't show up, and they didn't call. And this wasn't just some ordinary judge. It is Judge Douglas Tice, who is chief judge of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, Eastern District of Virginia. He ordered Wilder's attorney to show up in January and tell him where she was. Governor, what assurances do you have that the items will return to people? This was former Virginia Governor Doug Wilder, October 28th, outside Richmond Federal Court. We couldn't ask him any questions today because he was a no-show in court. Attorney Jeffrey Scharf represents the city of Fredericksburg and is trying to get Wilder to pay about $220,000 in unpaid taxes to Fredericksburg for this property that was supposed to have Wilder's U.S. National Slavery Museum on it. It is now in bankruptcy protection. And show up. Does that surprise you? It does. Does it disappoint you? Uh, I just thought we were going to have a hearing and, and see what uh, the status was. It was a status conference to see what progress has been made. Scharf in the court want Wilder to explain a 2005 tax form 990. At the end of the year, Wilder's museum was supposed to have cash on hand of $1.9 million. But Wilder only reported 315,000 cash on hand. That's an unaccounted difference of $1.6 million. In a court filing, Scharf wants an examiner to oversee Wilder's case because of possible fraud, dishonesty, incompetence or gross mismanagement of funds. What does Fredericksburg want? Fredericksburg wants the taxes paid. Wilder's attorney Sandra Robinson not only didn't show up in court, she failed to let anyone know she wouldn't be here. We asked her on October 28th about the missing money. Ms. Robinson, how do you explain the discrepancy with uh, proceeds from the museum of over a million dollars? She had no comment and neither did the former governor. You are the governor of Virginia and you can't produce these documents dealing with the slavery museum. Where are the documents, sir? We also continue fighting for Suffolk resident Thurbia Parker, who also confronted Wilder in October to return $75,000 worth of artifacts that remain in storage, caught up in the legal web of Wilder's U.S. National Slavery Museum. Thurbia Parker, caught in the middle of this whole thing. Ten on your side is carefully monitoring this situation, making sure Parker's artifacts are not liquidated to pay back creditors who are owed about $7.5 million. And Judge Trice will see Wilder and his attorney in court January 18th. The attorney needs to show up. Wilder doesn't need to show up. It would be interesting to see if he's there. Well, how much trouble can this attorney get in for not showing up today? I think what is really unfortunate that the judge will say, you didn't even call. You didn't call our clerk. You didn't say you weren't going to be here. We're all here. Lawyers coming in from Fredericksburg. We're coming up I here from Virginia that Beach. Any one of us doing that? And, no. and let me tell you, follow the money. The story is far from over, and there's a big question to be answered. Where's the money? We know you'll stay on top of it. Absolutely. Thanks, Andy. Nose. All right. Thanks, Andy. Since this is not a criminal matter, there is no warrant for anyone's arrest. Two calls to Attorney Sandra Robinson. They were not returned.